Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Timothy's in York. Timothy, why do you think they didn't tell the local MPs and council what they were doing? Oh, that's well. I, I really think that's not a big, a big issue at all. This whole M26 car park thing and it, any divorce, it's always going to be messy. It, it was never going to be straightforward, but it's a it was step going, it was in going, the direction really, really e to was, go in. It was going to be really, really easy. You remember? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. And but all the, all the Brexit campaigners the said, said it would be really, really easy. I mean, don't make me read you all the quotes again. OK, but that's not why I voted Leave, and it's not why any of the, the people The free trade I agreement that we will leave. have to do with the European Union should be one of the easiest in human history. That's um, Liam Fox. John Redwood, why, getting why, out of the EU can be? be quick and easy. The UK holds most of the cards in any negotiation. That's John Redwood. Here's Farage. To me, Brexit's easy. Here's Gerard Batten. Trade relations with the EU could be sorted out in an afternoon over a cup of coffee. Here's David Davis. We can do deals with our trading partners, and we can do them quickly. I would expect the new Prime Minister on the 9th of September, that's 2016, to immediately I, trigger I a really large round of global trade deals. The or the world trade Boris Johnson, everybody is suddenly low. wrangling about the terrors of the world outside. Actually, there are plenty of people who now think the cost of getting out would be virtually nil and the cost of staying in would be very high. Michael Gove, we have four years, more or less, between now and the date of the next election. We can easily conclude a new settlement with the EU in that period. Douglas Carswell, I think we could very easily get a better trade deal than we ben, have I've never refuted this. at this the moment. Are we having Paul, a discussion? Paul Nuttall, it Start will be easy to sure. negotiate a trade deal, yeah. and of course, it's in the European Union's interest, just as it is. No, we, we, I'm just pointing out that when you said nobody said it would be easy, you were mistaken. No, I'm, I'm not on about politicians, you know, career liars like yourself. I mean, you're pushing an agenda, oh, they're okay. pushing an agenda. Right, okay. So you don't think that any of those people influenced votes? Show. You don't think any of those influenced votes? You, you, you're not a man of the people, James. You, you live in a nice area which hasn't had any of the negative effects of globalism, of immigration. OK, so you, you why do you... You don't live in the real world, so, James. Mate, we're talking you about... I earn in a month. We're talking about a 20 kilo... Well, to, mate, this, it's not my fault, is it? No, it's that not I've done fault, well and you've done I'm badly. That, why are you taking it out on me? <laughs> I'm not. So I'm talk not to me. OK, let's, let's pretend that I'm the most important person in the room and, and you tell me now how Brexit's going to improve your life. OK, it's a long-term strategy, how I see it. I want people on lower-skilled jobs to is that Is that you? No, it's not me. So, so how's it going to improve your life? Because you, you've insisted on talking about mine, so now I'm interested in how it's going to okay. improve your life, Timothy. In many ways, I don't... Well, let's count, let's count, my... let me count the ways. It's more to do with how I see the world and how I see myself and how I see countries. And you've clearly... So how's it going different... to improve your life, then? I won't have to deal with all of the people like you, just... So, oh, just... so you, think, you oh. think somehow Brexit will involve me retiring? And, and you well, don't have to deal with me, Timothy. If you, what, what model radio do you have? I, d I don't have a radio. I use I use my phone. Okay, no, actually, so if I, I you know the, the you button on the top the top left of your keypad on your phone, if you just turn it off, then you don't have to deal with me. This is what I wanted to speak about. What you don't I have to, to deal with me at all. I wanted to ask you why you're a globalist and why. Uh, what does globalist mean, opinion? Timothy? What does globalist mean? It means all different people within you know, all different countries. It means no trade barriers. It means no borders. It, it means terrible things right should we frankly. go back should we go back because this is a bit tricky for you obviously so let's go back to how your life is going to improve timothy my life will improve by not having bloody rude neighbors yes my whole town but, but you're, you're incredibly the rude last 10 years you're no, incredibly the last 10 rude years has seen my town change completely yes what town is that york york so the after city, brexit right. what, what 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 are your neighbors going to do well, personally, I would like to see a lot of the Europeans here that are doing jobs such as labouring, warehouse yes. work. I would like to see them go home. Okay. It's not because I dislike well, well, them uh, as people. It's been, it's it's been, promised, been promised that they, it's been promised that they won't the have natives. to. It's been promised that they won't yeah, I know, have to. I know, I know, I know, I know. But so how is your on, life going to improve? 
it's, it's, it's more of a moral point for me. It's like but, I'm but being... But the moral point you just made is that we should discriminate against people based upon their origins rather than their conduct no, or their no, character. I think that we should put natives first. And right. Think... OK, so how would that improve your life? What is it that you have been prevented from doing because you're a native? I haven't been prevented... You're not, you're, you're, you're not seeing the point on purpose. No, well, tell me what the point is. The point is that our country has changed a lot since 2004, three. Yes, and, and you think for the worse, and, and I'm I asking... Think it's changed for the worse. Yes, I know that. Yes. I've, that's, I've understood that bit. It's, it's the rest I, I I'm struggling I, I with. So how is your life going to... Anymore. How I is your life going to improve? Home. My life will improve if our country starts going back to how it was. That's when, how How I it was when? When I was younger. Well, how old are you now? EU invasion before how old are you now? migrant crisis yes, in, how old are in you mainland now? Europe. Yes, Bre Brexit isn't going to stop refugees fleeing Syria, but how old they're are you now? They're not refugees, and actually, if you... OK, Timothy. If you actually how old are you now, the, Timothy? The, the how old, how old are you now? How, that's, that's besides the point. No, it isn't, because you said you want to go back to how things were when you were young, so I'm wondering how old you are now. I'm 35. So what year are you thinking was the halcyon... Days, the sort of rose-tinted memories that you have. No, it's, that's the thing, James. What do, so what do you see about the future? So you were born okay? in 1983. No, 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 no. So James, what, what year are you thinking of when now. you let's say you want to... No, no, okay, Timothy, talk you're talking the about the past. I've already talked let's about talk the future. About the I asked future. you how your life was going to improve and you couldn't tell how me. You and you said, your life, you said your life was going to improve by going back to what it was like when you were a child. So we're talking about the past because that's what you want the future to be. You can't change horses now. So what year are you thinking of when you say, I want to go back to that? I'd like to go back to the 90s, ideally, personally. Which, which, which bit of the 90s? All of the 90s. So you want, you want to go back to precisely. all of the I 90s? Ask, what, and what, what do you think? What, what, no, no, Timothy, doesn't what... If we remained, if we remained, I'll tell you what the future is. OK, mate. The go euro on. will collapse. Yes. The debt crisis in the South Med. All of those countries are being terrorised economically yes. by Germany. Right. This, why this, why this, are they all seeing... Have you seeing... been to Greece recently? What, what, yes, I, 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 I was there last... I was there about three months ago. Why it's do you think all these countries... Well, hang on. When were you last in Greece, Timothy? I was in Greece two months ago. OK, which July. bit? Which bit, Timothy? I was on the island of Corfu. Well, you were on a holiday in Greece? Yes. OK. And this is your evidence of a country that's collapsing? No. Oh, you fool. That's not what I'm saying. Have you not seen the state of all of those countries? They, they're, they're just not good, are they? They're not on the same standard as us, and they're being held back by Germany. Why has and support for the European Union in all of these countries gone up since the Brexit vote, do you think? According to whom? <sighs> OK. Let's try another one, then. In what ways do you think your life will improve, apart from your optimistic belief that there might be fewer foreigners in York? It's not entirely that. No, you know? that's why I said, what else? I just don't want to be involved in Europe. I don't see myself as a but European. You just, but you, a, just went to, you just went to Corfu for your holiday. You can't get much more involved yes. than that. And I lived in Australia. Well done. And I've travelled okay. Asia. Well and done. I love those countries. Well, that, and doesn't I love that make you a globalist? No, it doesn't. It makes Why me not? a traveller. It makes me an Englishman. Okay. That's what the English do. We travel. All right, you Timothy. Know? You know you voted to stop English people having freedom of movement across 27 EU countries. Street, I would never want to work or live in Europe. Okay. Act. I would only like well, that, that's, to live that's fine. In, um, or work yes. in English speaking ex colonies. But you, Canada, but you Australia, hate, but you hate it here. Zealand, I don't hate it here. Well, just you just, you, just you, you have spent most of call. this call describing the country in the most negative and pejorative of terms. You don't well, sound like a person who's very happy to be street. here. It's terrible. Okay. It's terrible. Because of all the foreigners. No, because of everything. And well, what else? Apart, apart from the foreigners, when, when you walk Get down the street, Brexit. Timothy, we need then to we calm it. Uh, okay. Let's just... Let, I'm going to try again to examine some words that have come out of your mouth. When you walk down right. the street, it's terrible, it's just terrible, but you're not talking about the foreigners. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the state of everything. Yes, well, it's, that, it's, it's, so, it's so, so for broken. example? For example, the state of the roads, funnily enough. So you think that Our Brexit is going to fix everything. potholes? It's, it's, it's about... <laughs> Timothy, mate, go and, go, and, go and have a cup of tea. Uh, thank you very much for calling. I'm sorry you're so cross about everything, and I, I'm sorry you see me as personally representative of all the problems that have rendered your life so unhappy and so unsatisfactory. But please trust me when I tell you, it's going to get worse. Bye, now.